Hi everybody, my name is Mohamed Wiswal. I am currently a junior at Rutgers University majoring in cognitive science. And today I've been asked to speak to you guys about the major. But before we continue, I think it's important to define what exactly cognitive science is. And it is the interdisciplinary study of the mind through the lens, lenses of six fields. Neuroscience, psychology, computer science, linguistics, and philosophy. Uh, the Rutgers University Center for Cognitive Science offers five tracks within the major. I'm just going to quickly run through those five tracks so you guys can get a better idea of what the major uh, offers and what it entails and who we can cater towards. So the first track is Minds, Machines, and Computation, and in this track you're going to be taking classes like Languages and Automata, Philosophy and Mind, art and Introduction to Artificial Intelligence. In these classes you're going to be uh, raising questions like what is the nature of the mind, what is the structure of the mind, uh, will AI ever be conscious, can AI achieve self-awareness, and what does this tell us about our own minds? The next track is language. In this track, uh, you're gonna be taking classes like the neural structure of language, language and cognition, and computational linguistics. Uh, this track is geared towards people who are interested in uh, how speech recognition systems like Siri or Alexa are made and how they work, or for people who are more interested in things like developmental linguistics or psycholinguistics. The third track is perception, and in this track you can learn about how a piece of matter, the brain, takes in information about the world and turns it into a mental representation. Furthermore, you're going to probably learn about how machines are being built to achieve a similar process of perception, but through artificial means. This track uh, offers courses like visual intelligence, philosophy of perception, and sensation and perception. The next track is cognitive neuroscience, and cognitive neuroscience is uh, specifically uh, the study of uh, bi the biological and physical structures of the brain and how they give rise to cognitive processes and rise to consciousness. Um, this track is perfect for those of you who plan on pursuing a pre-medical track and you see yourselves in the fields of clinical neuroscience or neurology. Um, however, though, this doesn't exclude people who are interested in fields of computational neuroscience or just see themselves in a future uh, of neuroscience. Um, and in this track, you're going to be taking classes like advanced neurobiology, behavioral and neurogenetics, and cognition. The final track is decision making. Uh, and in the decision making track, uh, you'll be taking courses like human nature and diversity, cognition and decision making, advanced topic uh, in economic theory, and pers uh, person perception of social cognition. Uh, this is geared towards people who are interested uh, in understanding why people make certain choices over others. Um, like why do people choose A over B, even though both A and B equal out to be about the same amount in economic decisions? Um, why do we choose to interact with, with who we do? Um, and why do people make altruistic choices and choices that have no benefit to themselves? Um, so I'm just gonna quickly also speak about my experience with CogSci at RU. Um, and I've been a major in cognitive science for about three years now. Uh, I'm actually doing two of the tracks, uh, the cognitive neuroscience track and the decision making track. Me personally, I'm really interested uh, in uh, social cognition, I'm interested in the neural systems behind social cognition, and I'm interested in how people interact with each other and why they choose to interact with certain people a certain way and why they choose to interact with other people another way. Um, if you guys think that this major is for you, I encourage you to email me at mohammed.wiswal at ruckers.edu. I also encourage you guys to follow the Rutgers University Cognitive Science Club on Instagram at RUCogSciClub. Um, and if you guys uh, have any more questions, feel free to email me. Uh, I'm here. I'm actually on the eboard mem I'm one of the eboard members for the CogSci Club, and one of my positions is student advisory. Uh, contact me, and I can uh, answer any questions you guys have about the major. Uh, it was great doing this video, and I look forward to hearing from you guys.